Hi, this is Oliver from Coconetics. Um, for the past two years, I've been using this iPad Pro uh, to do my iPadding at home, which for the most part would be playing Hearthstone when I was not sitting at, at my big computer. Uh, you have to know I'm working from home, so I'm hardly ever out and uh, so I actually don't have any real need for a mobile laptop unless I'm traveling, which is like once every two months. And also uh, a, a big iPad like that has proven to be somewhat impractical for me because it's too big to really take with me and at home as I said, I'm always only playing Hearthstone with it. Um, and the problem there actually is because it's got the same resolution uh, as other iPads, uh, you often see uh, pixels, even though Hearthstone claims it's showing high resolution artwork. And also last year, uh, Apple introduced iPads that were capable of 120 Hertz refresh rate and I wanted to have one of those uh, because supposedly it's a big difference when browsing the web. Um, but last year the difference between the first generation and the second generation iPad Pro weren't that substantial. Uh, we also had the uh, old pen, yeah? uh, but you might guess it, um, I'm hardly ever using it because this it's always discharged and having to put it in the slot like this is just awkward. Yeah? So um, I was delighted to learn that uh, Apple now has a, a new pen uh, that docks and charges at the top. So this we're going to see because um, this video is about the unboxing and my first experiences with the new iPad Pro, which I got here. Uh, in this uh, instance, I got myself the uh, 11 uh, inch one because, as I said, of practicability reasons, the screen is still larger um, than uh, previous uh, 10 and a half inch uh, iPads. Um, and it's got the, the new pencil. So we're going to check this out. Um, and you see here on my uh, iPad Pro, I'm having a Logitech keyboard cover, which I very much like if I have to type some email or something. This, this keyboard is really very, very nice to type on. It's almost no difference to a laptop keyboard. Uh, so the, the big test here for me will also be we have this uh, smart folio keyboard to try out uh, and see how these keys compare to like a, a normal keyboard or the Logitech so let's start with the smallest thing. Here's the uh, pencil. We're going to unbox this first. So it says pull here. Okay. And then I broke it. <laughs> okay. So all this foil. Yeah. Maybe sometime Apple can get rid of these foils as well. Okay. Here's another tab to pull, so we're pulling this out. Pull, 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 pull. Okay, designed by Apple in California. Manufactured in China, of course. So let's see here what we got. It's a very, very thick, thick slider, which is kind of unusual to the touch. So we've got some instructions for the pencil magnetically attach iPad Pro to pair, charge and store, which is really the, the great thing about it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, some safety and handling thing, assistance, warranty, warranty summary. Okay, that's that. So, and here's the, the pencil, which has its own foil again. Mm -hmm. Feels a bit, uh, how do you say, it's more rubbery, yeah, this is, this is more smooth and this feels more rubbery to the touch. And also to have this, this one side that's, that's flat, 
gives it a, an interesting feel. Yeah, the tip tip feels the same, mm -hmm. and of course you don't have this thing at the at the back. Yeah, so this is the Apple Number Two pencil. So get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Is the pencil. So step number two, we'll do the iPad Pro. Oop. So uh, again, it's got a it's got a tab to pull. Okay, makes it much nicer to have this this tab to get get rid of the plastic. Okay. Slide open the box. And there's the new iPad with a tab. So Apple is the the company that has the most tabs open on on their devices. So okay. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's it's certainly very flat, but you have this this camera bump here, that's quite quite visible. So let's see how this how this is if it's flat on the table. Yeah, well, it doesn't doesn't really annoy you so much that this is slightly higher. Yeah. Actually, where's the bump? The bump is at the bottom here. It's like when it's here, the iPad basically rests on these three points, and the top right point uh, that would move slightly. Yeah, but if you if you uh, keep the camera at the top, then uh, it doesn't feel any any kind of wobbly. Yeah, because of this. So. Let's see what else is in the box. Yeah. Again, a designed by Apple in California. Some papers. Again, this thick thing. So I don't know why they do this now, that there's such a thick carton at the bottom of, of this. They don't need to make it thicker, do they? Yeah. So some stickers. Uh, because I've got the cellular version, I've got the... Uh, SIM tool, then there is something about limited warranty, one year, in multiple languages that I don't speak, and here it says something in Polish, okay, not interesting, something in, I think, Czech, again, aha, and here's German. So this explains how, if you don't have any bezel, uh, you can swipe from the bottom, and some other things, yeah, how to turn it off, that it's now got face ID, that control center is the top right, and that there's, yeah, that's how you switch apps. And that's it for the things that are in the super thick carton thing. And then we have, ah, that's, okay, that's new because it's now uh, USB C, yeah, uh, the, the charger looks different for the first time in eons, yeah, again, has a plastic thing on top, and then we have shine, shiny white, and just a very small uh, USB-C connector here, and the USB-C cable, yeah, that has these tabs here, tap, tap, <laughs> funny construction with the uh, things going into this, this, uh, carton pieces, so USB-C goes in both ways yeah. and also on the other side, ah, there's some more plastic, okay, feels nicer this way and of course the other side of the USB-C cable, the same, goes in this way and goes in that way, okay, that's, that's nice, that's the first USB-C charger I'm seeing of Apple and I suppose we'll be seeing more of those in the future. Maybe Apple 
thus transition more devices to that. So we are done with the setup and of course the first thing to try out is this smooth scrolling and really it's it's like a total, totally different experience. You can't see it of course in, in the video but it's basically much smoother and is sort of as if there was less motion blur for my eyes. Yeah, I know it's it sounds weird, but it's sort of it's it's much more fluent, and you can can even almost read the text while it's while it's moving if you are if you're scrolling yeah, like this. Hmm? So, uh, so that's that's the number one thing to try out. The, the second thing, of course, was to uh, look if face, face ID works with different uh, orientations. So, switch it. And now it's unlocked. Switch, turn it on. Unlocked. Turn it on. And you cannot turn on. Aha. Uh, if the camera is down, down there, <laughs> um, then... Uh, it will ask you to to uh, gaze down there. So as soon as I uh, direct my eyes towards the camera, it unlocks it. So next up, we are unboxing the iPad Pro Smart Keyboard Folio. There's no tab in here, so we need to use a scissors to get under the foil. This has a very sturdy packet box also. Again a tab. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, smells like rubber. So there's some inlay here. Access notes from lock screen. Yes, and we want to always create a new note. Now with the iPad turned off, I'm looking at it, I'm pressing the thing and I'm in a note. So I can immediately start drawing something. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think I'm a, a comic artist. That's the only thing I can draw. Uh, it's like a cat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But very nice. Okay, now I switched. And double tap switches to the eraser. Double tap back to the pencil. Only 2018. So, and that's it for drawing with the new pencil that now finally has a place where it sticks. <laughs> uh, now let's try the whole thing together with the Smart Keyboard Folio. So the, the new S Smart Keyboard Folio has uh, a couple of connectors here on the side and those line up with three dots on the iPad so that's the only way how you can mount it. These dots need to go on top of each other um, and you have magnets that align all of that. And then you can uh, place it in one of two sides. So if you look at it from the side, yeah, you can either put it here, and it's very, very solidly, yeah, with magnets, or with the, the other setting. And uh, let's see how the, the typing goes. Hello world. Yeah, this, this, the typing is very interesting because um, uh, the keys seem to be further apart than like on the Logitech keyboard or a normal uh, keyboard. And that might be a bit difficult to uh, touch type on. 
let's see how <laughs> how typing works on this yeah well certainly needs to get needs some getting used to but in total uh, it's a very nice small package um, with the uh, pen now finally having a place where you can always have it charged and readily available you just need to draw something uh, then you can yeah. uh, and uh, it folds up very nicely uh, to take with you and contrasting to the uh, iPad Pro that I've been having uh, using before much more manageable in size if you want to take it with you so there you have it uh, an 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch with the Apple keyboard folio and an Apple pencil thanks for watching have a nice day